anyone can start this particular segment. How important is having effective communication? Um, and what does effective communication look like in a marriage? <laughs> you want me to start? All right. I'll kick it off. <laughs> I want to introduce you to a thing named pillow talk. How many people know what pillow talk is? It is essential for a marriage because you're working all day. When you lie down on that pillow at night, often this is when the download is able to happen. Mm -hmm. And this is very important for married people to just keep up to date with each other what's happening. You know what I mean? Sometimes your wife drop asleep during the pillow talk. You may drop asleep. Sometimes the pillow talk escalate, you know what I mean, to some great things happen. You know what I mean? So it's, it, it's very, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the, the pillow talk is, is, is very crucial. You, uh, and let me put it this way, just you, you have to find time. And you know, for each couple, it's going to work differently. But you have to find that time. Um, what my wife and I uh, do as well as walks, we go for walks exercise while we're walking we're downloading we're reasoning we're talking about ideas we're we're, we're game planning we're we're life planning and we're exercising at the same time we're moving we're getting fresh air um, sometimes the children come sometimes they don't but these are key um, things in a marriage and that honeymoon time will end the oxytocin will subside how many people know about the oxytocin yes all of that love chemical, all of that stuff is going to subside blessings. All of that will subside. Um, and in Rastafara, we have something called liberty, which is a way of life. You have to normalize intimacy, certain things. And, and for the wives, don't make your husband go too long without a something there. Please. You know what I mean? Because we have to keep it real, you know, as a man of the class, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? We have to keep it real because as Africans, we don't demonize sexuality. You know, um, in Babylon, sexuality became perverse. But when you look in the, even the, the, the ancient text, what does it say? It says, be fruitful and multiply. That is a command from the Most High. So we have to normalize that within a union. Uh, it, it, and a lot of women, uh, and I'll turn it over. A lot of women are waiting for that spark of desire before the intimacy, and that's not how it works all of the time. Sometimes you have to get into the liberty and then the desire, and that spark will, will happen. You know, allow me to tell, doctor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see, so, you, you, see, so you, you, you just have to normalize that intimacy. And for a man, we need that intimacy, regular. For women, they need that uh, ability to sometimes listen, because sometimes as men, and I had to learn this, when your wife is downloading, she don't want a solution for every point. She just wants someone to listen and to feel seen and to feel validated. And as men, it's hard for us, because we want to sell. You know, you telling me the thing, uh, do, 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 you know, we want to give you the, the solution right there, and, and that's not what they're needing in that moment. So as a man, we have to be empathetic to know She's, she, wants, she needs to vent, and this is a time for me to just listen. All right, so I'll, I'll keep it. Awesome. 